Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. An aircraft takes off from Guam at 2300 hours standard time on the 30th of April 2014. After a flight of 11 hours and 15 minutes, it lands at Los Angeles, California, USA. Given the following standard time conversion data, what is the standard time and local date of arrival, assuming summer time? The standard time conversions are Guam equals UTC plus 10, California, USA equals UTC minus 8. The optional answers are A, 12.15 on the 1st of May 2014, B, 16.15 on the 30th of April 2014, C, 17.15 on the 30th of April 2014, and D, 13.15 on the 1st of May 2014. Now you may have been shown several methods of doing this type of question. I'm just going to show you one method, which is my preferred method. And to do this, we start with a timeline across the board. In the centre, we place the zero degree west-east meridian, the Greenwich meridian, which is our referenced point for UTC or Coordinated Universal Time. We know that Guam is to the east simply because it is UTC plus 10. Similarly, we know that Col California, USA, is to the west because that is UTC minus 8. Okay, so let's look at the problem. We start with the departure time at Guam of 2300 hours standard time. In order to take that to UTC, we need to make a correction from Guam to the Greenwich Meridian. As we can see, that is in a right to left or westerly direction, and therefore we subtract the time. Subtract 10 hours from 2300 hours standard time, and it gives us 1300 UTC, which I will now transpose to this point. The next part of the calculation is to transpose the time from UTC into standard time at California. Again, we're going from UTC to the west, so it's going to be negative. The conversion time is minus eight hours. 1300 minus 8 gives me 0500 hours standard time. Transpose that across to California, USA, and we have 0500 hours standard time. Notice that the date has not changed at all, so we're still on the 30th of April. However, what we must note is that this is the standard time at California, USA, when the aircraft took off from Guam. What we now have to do is to add on the flight time. The flight time is 11 hours and 15 minutes, which gives me a final landing time at California of 16.15 standard time on the 30th of April. Referring to the answers, you can see that option B says 16.15 on the 30th of April 2014. 
and you may be tempted to select this answer. But remember that the question states, assume summertime. And summertime is always one hour fast on the local standard time given. So all you do if it says assume summertime, the only thing you do is you add one hour to the final calculation. So my final answer, in fact, will be 1715 standard time on the 30th of April 2014.